shows. Well, should we put some clothes on? Or? Well, depends, I'm depends, freezing. Depends. I, am, mm. I, I just want you to know, like a buddy of mine told me that, uh, and you know, yeah, about uh, they said that you look bigger if you shave down there. Shave the bush. Yeah. So I shaved right everything, and you know, I was like monster I didn't. hairy. I did, and I don't know um, if I look bigger, but I am freezing. It, it, yeah, it, it looks a little bit like a smarty. Mm -hmm. it, well, it looks like an any. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about stuff that that people believe that we just can't understand why they believe, like uh, uh, homeopathic medicine. That yeah, kind of bullshit. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, why? Why is there this need uh, for everybody to to? You know what I think it's from? No. I think it's from home, like stuff like homeopathic stuff. Um, for some reason, we always think we always have that 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 relative that says, "No, you got to use mm -hmm. this." The old ways or are the, the best old ways. ways. You got to drink this, and you got to walk around the car four times. And mustard you, plaster. Yes, you got to take a shit on a full moon on a Tuesday. Yeah. You know, it's it's stuff where, uh, you know, it take this essence of of a uh, rabbit and remember the big shark cartilage yeah 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 remember well, that they were killing sharks like crazy and they, yeah you know what well, makes absolutely no fucking sense because it's cartilage it's going to fix your cartilage right well it's like the rhino horn i feel that's horrendous that's awful you know like killing a, a, a rhino for its horn just so you could fuck better yeah. which you know i you know i don't get that well even I, even the the shit that's supposedly legit that they sell in the drugstore, like homeopathic medicine. You know what's really good to watch is, uh, have you ever seen James Randi talk about uh, yeah. homeopathic medicine? Yeah, it's great. Once you watch that, if you can watch that, understand it, and then still go out and buy something that's... Did you, you see know, him take a bottle of sleeping pills? Did you ever see that? Yeah. He, he took a bottle of sleeping pills just to show, just to show that this is bullshit. And he's like, you know, he's... He's a million he's, years old. Yeah, like he is. Uh, he like he farts dust. Yeah, you know? if you haven't seen it, he he takes an entire brand new bottle of these homeopathic sleep remedy pills, downs the whole thing on stage. The, the pills say they work in you know fifteen minutes or something like that. Right. His show is about forty five minutes or an hour, and uh, of course he takes it very early in the show, and uh, he, you sort of forget that this. Old dude just downed a whole bunch of uh, yeah. sleeping pills, right? Uh, and, and then at the end, he sort of reminds you, oh, yeah, by the way, those pills didn't work kind of thing. Right. But during the show, he explains why, oh, why it doesn't that. work. I love that he did that. I love how he, he you know, that Peter Popoff moron, oh. how he had just annihilated that guy. But you know what's sad? You know, you live in a society that, you know, I mean... You know, I, I don't understand why Peter Popoff, the uh, jerk off there, is still on. Um, but I could see why. There are people out there that, you know, they're, they're, they're you know, it's, they're hurting. It's the diverting, same, as, it's the same, same as the psychic. And, right? you know, to send money to these jerk offs because you're, you know, you think that they're going to help you, it's just, it's heartbreaking. It know? is. It is. So, yeah, I saw it. I, I, you know how, uh, you ever see the Nostradamus one about Randy talking about Nostradamus? No, I, I didn't see that. Well, he literally met Nostradamus. That's how old Randy is, because he, he literally met him. But it's funny because he 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 he, he uh, talks about uh, oh the Scientology guy, Ron, the Hubbard, L. Ron Hubbard. L. Ron. He talks about meeting him, like literally meeting the guy, right. and saying the guy was a weasel back then. Oh, and it, I love that. Like I just go, you you know, it's like it's like could you imagine? People talking like that about Jesus, going, "Yes, I met Jesus, and he he borrowed money off of me. He, he borrowed the son money. of a bitch owes me forty five uh, denarii, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, hey, he's not as cool as you think. I remember he was, you know, at the bar, pissed off that someone, you know, his wife was bickering at him, and the whole wine, the he water, beat water, the wine thing, shit thing. out of his wife. You know, I just, I, I, to me, that is hilarious. How can you follow? Somebody yeah. that so many people said he was a weasel. Well, and, and just because it happened a long time ago, uh, I mean, and, and look at look at Mormon, look at, at uh, Joseph Smith, like, same thing. Uh, oh, that known guy. charlatan, yeah, known scam artist, and his next scam was his last scam was his most successful, and it's it's, it's called Mormon, the Book of Mormon. Wait, was he the? He's the guy that 
because he wanted to sleep with chicks more chicks or he yeah. just go well oh, and i yeah, can't fault I just, him for that i just i just but that isn't that hilarious where you could go up to people and go like your your congregation and go listen i talked to the big guy upstairs and he wants me to pork your wife well you don't want to you don't want to go to hell do you exactly like you know we i don't want to pork your wife i just i won't enjoy it but the big guy said it and anything no. so i looked i looked at some what was it gold tablets or stones or seeing stones well he was the only guy that could look into the the, the magic hat the magic the hat <laughs> oh fuck it, the the story's so ridiculous and then you've got these mormons running around thinking i don't know it's just sad it is it, well and you know the thing is it, it, it's not that people are, those people are stupid or whatever, um, but you, you, they get indoctrinated like anybody else. But um, that religion in particular, it just it just reeks of, of uh, what's the, what am I looking for? It's like it's like a it's like the slap chop guy. It's like s somebody trying to sell you some junk, you know? Well, yeah, it is junk. I mean, um, I don't know. I don't get I don't get their whole. I don't know how you could follow something without, like, how can you, uh, how can you follow something and just go, there's so many stupid uh, roadblocks in the way, and I don't know. Where do you, uh, where do you land on uh, the UFO thing? What do you think of that? The UFO thing? I don't think there's fucking any UFOs. Or, no. I think, I think if there are UFOs, they would know that we know that we're being watched. I know that you know that I know yeah. that you want to fuck me. <laughs> no. The... Uh, that the the UFO thing, if if they are as smart as they are, um, well, they, why why can't they go? You know, hey, you know what? They're having a TV special about us. They're they're saying that we we right. uh, we love to fuck them in the ass, and uh, yeah, you know, uh, one out of ten don't mind it all. That but you know, I mean, what, we, what they're gonna they're, you know, it's just I don't get, I don't think I think if they did come, we wouldn't know. Well, because yeah. they would make sure not to... Well, if they figured out how to do what, what basically what Einstein said was impossible, 